In this video, we're going to quickly go over the process of making a sort of transparency, a sort of blending effect between two midges in Paint. So I'm using Windows XP, Microsoft Paint, to do this. But the same basic effect works pretty much in all the versions of Paint. So first I'm going to find an image that I want to be one of the images I'm going to blend together. And I like cats, so I'm going to look up an image of a cat. I like this one here with a little rim light. The cat has spunk. So I'm going to view image, copy that one, and I'm going to paste it into my Microsoft Paint document. So I'm going to drag up the bottom right corner of my document to make sure that it's only showing the image of the cat. Now I'm going to open another instance of Paint. So you want to go to your Start menu or whatever and go into Paint again and open up a second window of Paint. And in this window, I'm going to make a series of horizontal lines with a distinctive color like pink or something that's not a color that's in your source image. And this color is going to be used to, to make the transparent effect work. So you want to make sure that it's a color that doesn't occur in your source image, or at least not much. So once I've made the line and it's even, you can use shift when you're pulling out a horizontal line with the line tool and it'll hold your line to, you know, 90 degree angles, so only horizontal, vertical, and diagonal at a 45 degree. And then I hit control A, control C, and control V. And I do that a number of times so that I get an larger number of horizontal lines in my selection and I get a larger and larger uh, you know series of lines so that it doesn't take quite as long to fill the entire image because you're going to want to fill the whole document or at least the areas that you want to be transparent with these horizontal lines so that's why it helps to use a small image but you don't need to you can use as big an image as you want so once you fill the entire image with your color, and I suggest using one of the colors that's a default color in the toolbox because that will be essential in making the selection transparent later. So I just made sure I resized the image so that I made sure that it was the right attributes or the right dimensions for the source image of the cat that I'm using. Now I'm going to use stretch skew with my selection. I hit control A, I use stretch skew and I set 200% horizontal so that the image, so that the lines fill the entire frame. So now, as you can see, there's a bunch of little lines. I mean, it, you have to have a pretty high resolution to see them, but there are a series of lines alternating between white and pink in this case. So now I'm going to control A and select all. So you can see the little lines here. I'm going to select all, I'm going to control C, or hit edit copy, and I'm going to paste that into a new document. And in this new document, I'm going to set the background to magenta. Because of the way that transparent selection works, when I paste, when I have that pasted image selected, the, the background color that I set with the right click, it becomes transparent. So that's why you now see pink and magenta lines, because the background that was white, which is the background color of my selection, is transparent. So now I'm going to select all again in this new pink and magenta image, control C, and I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of this image, and I'm going to paste that into my kitty image. And I'm going to set the background color to pink. So now because my selection background color is pink, or magenta rather, now I just have only the pink lines in my selection. So now I have an image that is half pink lines, half kitty. And now I'm going to look for the other image I want to blend together. In this case, I want a mushroom cloud. So this mushroom cloud fits the dimensions that I want, and it is an explosion. So I'm going to copy this image, and I'm going to paste it into a new document. And then I'm going to go get my kitty and my pink lines. I'm going to control A, control C, select all and copy. 
and I'm going to paste that in here. And I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to set the background color to pink, and I'm going to use the transparent select, which is the lower of the two options when you have the selection, that one there. I'm going to set the background color to the, the pink I used, and now I have alternating lines of each image, which gives the appearance of a transparency. It gives the appearance of two images being blended together. But you can see it's actually alternating lines of each image. Now if I were to resize this image, if I were to stretch and skew it to 50% of its original size, they would, they would actually blend together, and you would have a 50-50 transparency effect. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. And I hope you're able to make lots of cool images with paint.